they fought my son in February 6 or February 6 2016 they fought him in girl they might have his picture in the house when they came to our, my land they wanted they started building they in fact it was fenced the day they, that was the day they pulled down the fence on the 25th they pulled down the fence 26 they came they started building my son was around he went in there they, they now asked him why do you want to take photographs why that was how all of them rushed him before i knew they started fighting they gave him injury i have his picture those who refused to give in to the threat got assaulted while some properties were forcefully taken over. School activities within the community were altered during the crisis while many counted their losses. They robbed the people on the street. All those houses, all the, all the shops were robbed that day and subsequently they continued coming like that up till March of the March 18 this year. They continue like that. Anytime they came, you see people running away, closing the shops, schools closed down. They were threatening us to pack out before the following week, that they are coming to demolish the entire building. And they said it repeatedly, that personally, what God do I have, the God that I have that makes me, the word courage, uh, that, that somebody like me who doesn't have money, who doesn't have uh, charm, but what gave me the COVID as I told them, I, I, I believe in God. The Lagos State Government, under the leadership of Governor Akiomi Ambadi, has prohibited the act of land grabbing and has recreated severally that suspected cases be reported to this designated authority. We have to commend the, two, uh, the governors of Lagos State in that direction. They set up task force on land grabbers in Lagos State. Um, I think it was inaugurated just last year. And our letter supposed to be, uh, I think, number one in that office. It, it was, they, they admitted that it was number one in that office. <laughs> Within three months, we, we were there, we have counted over 400 letters. The Lagos State Government Property Protection Law prohibit forcefully entry and illegal occupation of landed properties. Violent and fraudulent conduct in relation to landed properties in Lagos State. Therefore, it is criminal offense to try to forcefully take over another man's property. In line with this provision, members of the Lamoshi Community Development Association took it upon themselves to seek a legal redress. The result after their first attempt gave them a first hope. This is Peace Estate here. This is a judgment plan. This is a corrected and, and, uh, and uh, converted. So, fortunately for us, went to the same court, the same judge. And many, more than two times, the judge asked us, are you contesting my judgment? We told him, no, my lord. We are contesting wrong execution. So, the story is much, but the ruling we got on the 8th of May summarized the whole story. May the 18th, 2017 changed the sorrow and grief they have experienced for years. When you know your rights and you know that what you, you are doing is right, take it up to wherever you can take it up. All the saying that don't go there, they'll go and bribe Jojo, they'll go and do this, don't listen to them. Just go and play your own part and do your parts. With the case of Ilamoshi community as an example, a successful implementation of this law no doubt will drastically reduce incidences of land grabbing in Lagos states.